the ongoing talks for a peace solution a stop to the war between the officials of Israel US Egypt and Qatar has failed Benjamin Netanyahu has said that he is not going to accept the ludicrous demands of Hamas and he has asked his forces to prepare for a ground assault in Rafah now uh, he has also said that a change in Hamas position will make it possible to move forward as far as talks are concerned but at the moment what he has done is that ordered his army to prepare for a ground assault in Rafah bombing is already on in Rafah now the ground assault preparations are beginning there are at least 14 lakh people who are sheltering in Rafah in tents uh, in uh, biting cold and uh, uh, they are also on the verge of starvation according to several uh, agencies but uh, uh, now Netanyahu is preparing for a ground assault Rafah is actually Gaza's southernmost point where uh, Israel had asked the civilians to move and it started its operations uh, in north and at that time its focus was uh, Hamas installations and Hamas fighters in the north but now they have said that they are moving towards Rafah because that is important and that is uh, where uh, Hamas uh, terrorists are hidden that is also what they have said now uh, Rafa is Gaza's southernmost point it's also the place where there is a crossing towards Egypt from where we have seen uh, the human uh, humanitarian aid uh, trickling in into the uh, Gaza Strip now uh, several world leaders have asked Israel have urged Israel not to go for an assault in Rafa on Wednesday, French President Emmanuel Macron uh, phoned Netanyahu and he said that the Gaza operations must cease and he has said that France is opposed to an operation in Rafah because this would mean a humanitarian disaster. Prime Ministers of Australia, New Zealand and Canada have said that uh, uh, Israel should uh, uh, desist from operation in Rafah. They have expressed their concerns. German Foreign Minister who's on a visit to Israel, she too said the same thing. She said uh, there are grave concerns. Ireland and Spain have asked you to look into whether, uh, uh, whether Israel is actually uh, complying with its human rights obligations in Gaza. So there are several leaders who have asked Israel not to go ahead with an assault in Rafah. At the beginning of the war, Israel had asked the civilians in Gaza to move uh, towards uh, uh, southernmost points because its military operations were concentrated in the north. Now Israeli authorities are asking the Gaza civilians to move from Rafah because that is where they are uh, going to uh, start their ground assault. They are saying that they should relocate to Al Mawasi. It, they are calling it a humanitarian zone. It's a thin strip, uh, mainly agricultural uh, strip at the Mediterranean coast. And according to the Health Ministry of Palestine, uh, at least 28,576 people have been killed uh, in Gaza uh, from the beginning of the war uh, till now. Now there are other factors also which uh, which have come uh, to fore. Two hostages, Israeli hostages, uh, were rescued by IDF in Rafah after a gunfight, a, a fierce gunfight. Hamas has said that at least 67 civilians died because of this uh, Israeli operation. But this is being seen as a win and also uh, 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 also gives strength to Netanyahu's assertion that the military operation is the only way to rescue all the hostages. Uh, apart from that, Israel has also released a video where uh, one can see Yahya Sinwar, the leader of Hamas in one of the tunnels along with his wife and three children. So this, uh, this also confirmed that he is still in Gaza and not uh, uh, abandoned Gaza, has not uh, run away from there, but he is staying put there. So this also gives a reason uh, to Israel to uh, continue its operations. And Benjamin Netanyahu has clearly said he is not going to stop till there is a complete victory over Hamas. In New Delhi, Kadhamin Sharma for NDTV.